Good morning and welcome to another segment of Sarah's Opening Bell. It's April and the start of April marks the beginning of Financial Literacy Month, where we have the opportunity to celebrate financial inclusion, achieving economic stability, and narrowing the wealth gap by empowering first-generation investors with the tools that they need to learn and apply smart investing habits with the stock market game. And we are incredibly proud to be positioned to equip stock market game investors with the necessary financial knowledge to navigate the complexities of today's economy. And our commitment at the Sigma Foundation to driving positive change and fostering financial education within all of our communities and making investment education accessible, inclusive, and easy to understand is at the core of what we do and why we do it. Because what good is information that you don't understand or you're unsure of how to use? And as a stock market game investor and one day retail investor, we want to provide you with the space to analyze and apply safe investment practices that can help you to reach your financial goals. And this can at times feel a bit difficult if or when you encounter volatile securities. And volatility simply describes the size and frequency of change of an investment price. In other words, how much is that price bouncing around? So volatility can be an important measure of an investment's risk. And in most cases, the higher the volatility, the riskier the investment. And the lower the volatility, the less risky the investment. And it's important to understand the volatility of any investment you're considering as part of making sure that the investment is a good fit for you. And a few ways you can separate the more volatile and less volatile investments is by asking yourself a few really quick questions, like how well established is the investment? More established companies tend to experience less volatility than, let's say, a startup. And what does the investment's price chart look like? Are there a number of peaks and valleys, especially across shorter time periods? Now, whether volatility is a good or bad thing depends on what kind of investor you are and what your risk appetite is. Some investors can find periods of high volatility to be distressing as prices can increase dramatically or fall suddenly. Long-term investors tend to ignore periods of short-term volatility and just simply stay the course. And this is because over the long run, stock markets do tend to rise. However, emotions can become amplified during these periods in volatility markets and can undermine your long-term strategy. Some investors also view volatility as an opportunity to add to their portfolios by buying when prices appear more accessible. However, a dip too low or a starting share price that is exceptionally low can be an indicator of extreme volatility and perhaps is not the best investment depending on your personal long-term goals. So you may have noticed that one of our stock market game rules includes the inability to purchase shares of companies that have a price below $3 per share. As oftentimes a share price of that value tends to be extremely volatile and does not position you to make safe investment choices. And as we near the final few weeks of spring stock market game sessions, how has volatility impacted your portfolio? Now go ahead and take a look because markets are now open.